We got 10 pound line. Gotta hit. How? Alright guys, we are out here chasing a crazy rare fish and the bite is so hot that I haven't even been able to record before I've gotten two bites and I already got a fish. So this is a yellow bullhead, you can tell by the barbels, but we are chasing like a crazy rare fish. Like it's only, I've only seen it in one spot, North America and this spot. I've never seen it online from anywhere in America at all. I've looked, I can't find it. So this is gonna be like crazy rare if I catch it. And I do know a lake with one near. And we are going to be trying to catch it. It's gonna be a series. I don't know when I'll catch it or if I'll ever catch it, but we are gonna sure try. All right guys, caught this guy. About to release him. Let's go for the release. Bye. All right, so I'm gonna show you what bait I'm using. Using these, I really like them for carp and catfish, like, or anything, really. I keep them on bag in case I need to catch bait or anything. Pretty cool. But I'm using them to target this mystery fish. You'll find out what it is when I see it. All right, we got our braid. Uh, it's too windy to have our uh, rods pointed up, so we are just letting our line a little be a little loose, and then uh, when a fish takes it, it'll get tight, and then we'll set the hook. All right, so let's go over my setup for today. So we got, we don't need heavy line for this fish. We don't need big hooks. Uh, it's a very small fish. Uh, somewhat small fish it can get really big but right now it's small now it shouldn't be long before we get a bite it does take longer when there's only one piece of dough bait on there and it seems to take shorter when there's more pieces of dough bait but uh, I don't want to use all my dough bait because I only got one bag or I only have like a fourth of a bag really left but we are gonna sit here and wait, and we might catch this rare fish, we might catch, we might not catch it, but this will be a quest for us to fill. So the reason this is gonna be so hard to catch is because of all the small catfish in here. There's so many small catfish in here, like the one you just saw, and they're gonna take the bait, and they're gonna take the bait, and they're just, they're just gonna keep stealing my bait or they're just gonna slime up my lines. It's, not, it's gonna get annoying, but it will be worth it if we do catch this amazing mystery fish. All right guys, we just got a hit on the Sedona. Uh, I'm not sure what he did. He, he hit it and there was just a hit. And well, the hit on this reel and he's gone. Or is he? He can't hit on such a small hook and be gone like that. It's not something that... No, wait. Man! Oh, we got him! I don't know what it is. I'm gonna reel with one hand. Wait, what? Did he get off, seriously? Height. Well... Still on everything. My line's not slimed up. Oh, it is. Never mind. Probably was a catfish. <laughs> All right, we are getting hits on this rod. Let's see if anything commits. You gotta let these bullheads mess with it for a while. I never know. If it could be the fish I'm trying to get. I'm not. I almost said it. I almost said it there. I'm not gonna say it until I see it. I will not speak a word of what this fish is until I catch it. This is the mystery, crazy, awesome fish. And I trust you, it is awesome. Just trust me. Where is the fire bite that was here when I got here? This is not, this is not what I've expected. City ponds should always just have instant bites 
on artificial baits, like, especially stink bait, like, I don't know what's up, these fish are crazy. We got a hit on this pole, ah, oh, take him, you got him, you got him, is he off? Oh man, don't be off, come on, come on, he's off, that was crazy, he was, he was really going for it there, for a second. There's a ton of gizzard shad in this pond, this park pond. Yes, gizzard shad, tons of them. They could be messing with my bait. And I could do a catch and cook shad, and I could catch one. I could catch a shad on a bait. I could get my micro hooks, and I could catch a shad. So let me know in the comments if you want me to do that. Drop a like. So many bullheads are stealing my bait. I'm gonna like, catch one. It's gonna have like 20 of these marshmallow baits in its stomach, and it's gonna be like pink. You know, I probably should use some smaller hooks. Love me some slimy catfish line. Guys, I was literally packing up, and this guy decides to bite. See, look at that. All right, so we're gonna release this guy. This is what the no car life is, guys. You get a backpack, you get you get three reels, three rod and reels, you get all the rods you need, and you go on a backpack. I mean on a Wow, words are hard. You don't go on a backpack, you go on a bike. You wear your backpack. You don't go on backpacks, you you wear them. So uh, that is about all the time I have for today in this murky, murky Texas city pond. We are about to head home.